Okay, so as far as the, the future brands, plans for the brand, is it always going to be versus or is it going to be something where the versus is not even in? Yeah, well, point. so the way we're building it now, it's like three components. So we got Detroit versus everybody, right? Which is, I, I like to say it's his baby, right? Because he has this whole, he's been in this like, and been a capsule for the past three years of how he wants to tell the story of Detroit versus everybody. Because you had a point, like, how can we keep up with the business? We never, we would, we never was able to really tell our story mm -hmm. or what the brand, like everybody else was just taking it and saying what it was and what they wanted it to be. So now he's, he's kind of taking a step back. Like after Gucci, he was like, look, we, after this, we can't, we got to put our best foot forward. So took a step, he's took a, taking a step back and he wants to tell Detroit's story, right? And so he's working on that. And then I'm working on, you know, everything wholesale licensing. Mm -hmm. And then there's this other component of where we have like, I would say goodwill, right? And the reason why I call it goodwill is because it's just like this gray area of business that needs to get captured, right? So of course we got our licensing and our wholesale, but there's so many other worlds out there. So like you have the everybody versus, right? Like. And that's nonprofit world, but we're not a nonprofit. So you have everybody versus. Then you have what I'm doing in Africa. Like Africa is not a place to where I can go and wholesale T-shirts. Like it just doesn't make sense mm -hmm. financially. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't go there and do a licensing deal. Like I think you guys posted some the other day. I was, I was looking and said ten million. I mean, a hundred million dollars of, of revenue was made in Afrobeats, Afro yeah. but only two percent of that revenue went back to the continent. Mm -hmm. There's another stat, um, cause I've been like, I go to, I travel a lot. I went to this business conference in, um, South Africa last year. They said 90% of the revenue made off the resources in Africa leave out only 3% comes back in. Mm -hmm. So it's the same deal. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, I'm looking at this whole space here, like Africa versus everybody, all the other versus everybody It's we want to use the brand as a platform to help, to assist, even though we're not a nonprofit, um, our partner, Jeffrey Anderson, he always says, we're a double bottom line business. Okay, we're for profit, but we're also for the people. Mm -hmm. So we're using that goodwill space as our as our vehicle to help. And that's that's the space like ultimately where I think the brand is gonna live. Like of course we can Detroit versus everybody's cool. That's, that's you know, that's our bread and butter. That's our that's like the for me, that's like the culture. That's we right? born every year. It's every right. sports, every, any sport right. every sport. versus everybody, that's there to make the money and the license and, the, and sustain the brand. Yeah. But then you have this other piece where like we really want to help. Like we have a we have a, a voice. We have a platform to really help to put put it all in. It's interesting because as you guys were saying, like obviously we know the Africa or whatever verse everybody, but the everybody verse even from a health initiative, and I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are doing it, but like every month is something. Right? Mm -hmm. So like as I'm thinking, like October is breast cancer, so like we did that. Everybody versus everybody, 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 everybody versus diabetes. Everybody mm -hmm. versus autism. Like changing the colors of the shirts is that. Like part of the business plan too, like every because every month there is yeah, a health. Plan. We we've mm -hmm. done it, we've done it. We just haven't went full scale with it, but we've done it. We've had a partnership with uh, American Cancer Society. Right. We've done heart disease. Um, heart disease. Um, we just did something with um, who was it? Uh, African American Wellness uh, Foundation. So they're based out of uh, Columbus, but we did a we did actually wellness for everybody. Mm -hmm. So like. We got the so we play around with the different for everybody's like we also have everybody, everybody loves as well yeah everybody loves so we did everybody loves cannabis we yeah. did everybody loves that too yeah yeah so we did everybody loves uh r b we did that the other yeah. that was like an r b fest that was festival yeah so how many trademarks do you have on that you got the, the versus everybody everybody versus yeah detroit Every, versus everybody everybody loves everybody loves versus everybody for everybody there. And then we play around with different classes throughout those. Yeah. So like classes meaning like media. Well, like you got hard goods, you got t-shirts, mm -hmm. you got leather goods. Like yeah. I mean, I think it's like what, 50 different classes? Mm -hmm. And then you got services. And so we're about to really dab into like um like the services because like the class 35 and 41, that's like for me, that's the next progression, especially doing the African stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause that's gonna get the message out, right? Mm -hmm. Live events. So that's why I kind of focus on partnerships with these African festivals. So like Afro Future, Afro Nation, like. So talk about that, what the, what's the partnerships that you have with those? So we've done, the first the first festival we partnered with was um, Afrochella, now it's Afro Future. Um, 
Shout out to Abdul. Um, he gave me, he gave us the opportunity to, to um, use the brand, bring the brand to the uh, Afro Cella. I think this was 2022. And we sold merch and we did an Afro. We sold merch there and we did an Afro Cella versus everybody shirt. So that was like the way, because I'm, I'm like, for me to even make Africa make sense, I got it. It has to be visible. And that was like the only way to make, make it visible. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then I called Winner Afro Nation and I started moving around with them too. And so um, for me, it was just like passing out merch. And then, uh, so we did Afro Nation Miami. We just took some, we took I'm a Piano versus everybody and Africa that. versus everybody. I saw that. They gave us those shirts actually in Grammy weekend. Yep, yep, so that, yeah. Um, yep, so I think Vito gave you one of the shirts. Um, but yeah, we actually trademarked I'm a Piano, the word I'm a Piano. So you we trademarked that word? Yeah, so we own. So you own I'm, the word? Yeah. For, so how does that work? We don't know yet, but we, tra <laughs> we, tra figure this out. we trademarked the word. Cause in South Africa? We trademarked it here in the U.S. In America. Yeah. And so um, so we have this brand. Cause, and it, it wasn't to just, it wasn't more so of a business decision. It was like when we went to South Africa, we saw that. I'm like, I'm listening to this music, but it's like, it's not Afrobeat. So a lot of people don't know the difference between Afrobeat and I'm a piano. And so, but it gets absorbed. I'm a piano gets absorbed in, Af in Afrobeats. So... We saw it as an opportunity to show showcase these I'm a piano acts, mm -hmm. and so we built like a site, like we did the trademark. We built a site I'm a piano versus everybody, and so this site is supposed to showcase like the I'm a piano acts in that whole world. That's why. How, how often? That's something we have to learn too. How often do you have to renew your trademarks? It's every five years you have to like do some maintenance on it. Each one. Yeah, each one. Yeah. Okay. And um, you guys gonna be on Invest Fest? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. We um. What's that about? So we're coming to Invest Fest. Um, we have a vending situation, but we don't want to focus just on merchandise. We want to focus on like our different experiences, um, because I mean, honestly, that's what Invest Fest to me. That's what Invest Invest Fest is. Is like you know, it's not it's not just me selling be, uh, to a consumer. It's not direct to consumer. I'm actually talking to bit other businesses, other individuals, investors, angel investors mm -hmm. that might want to help push to play. So that experience is going to be mainly. Um, showing like what we're doing with versus everybody and Africa versus everybody and how we're building those experiences up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We got a package. I saw the invest versus, versus everybody. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> right. yeah. EYL versus everybody. Appreciate that. So how are are you finding that obviously corporations, but our entrepreneurs, this is a, a new journey, a new endeavor, especially in our community where we're seeing a lot of entrepreneurs and small businesses. Have they reached out to you too? Is that something that you guys are interested in? Reach out to us in terms in of... In terms of like having their brand versus everybody and maybe licensing from the small business aspect. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's like the Dan... I mean, that's like the... Like I said, remember I said earlier, like the big the big business, like they'll pay out, right? Yeah. They understand. They had to come in. Right. But like the small businesses, it's hard. It's really hard to deal in that world sometimes because they don't understand that they have to pay. Like, like I'll tell them... I'm not going to... I won't I won't say who the business is, but I, they'll they'll contact us. And they'll say, well, we want to do this versus everybody. And I'll say, well, you know, there's a licensing fee with that. And I'll mm -hmm. give them license fee like, well, why would I pay? I'm not going to pay that. Why would I pay that? But we, but then they still want to use it. It's like, well, okay, let's just, let's, let's talk. Let's, you know, so then we start negotiating. And sometimes it's just, I'm more, more times than, than not, it doesn't work out because mm -hmm. they just don't understand that, you know, you have to pay our price. Like, and so this one guy, he was even like, well, I looked at you guys' valuation online and it just didn't match. And it's like, well, that's so, that's something totally like you're not acquiring <laughs> equity here. Like you're buying a service from us. So it's like really what we make the price. And we're, I'm not I'm just not throwing this price out of nowhere. You know, like there's a reason why we have to do it like this. And mm -hmm. so they just they don't really understand it. So sometimes we let it we let it ride like if, if, if we want the relationship or sometimes it's like bartering like you know uh we'll let you do this if you do this for us so how much is your license fee um we start at 50k um and then we work we either work our way up depending on what the scope of the uh, of the project or we work our way down and then that's when we just explore other options yeah you said the valuation so you said it's been profitable how, how's revenue been post the pandemic right you took a hit in the middle of the pandemic i mean we're, we're we're just not getting our bones back for real uh last year was was tough because we actually lost our store our store collapsed yeah yeah it, it collapsed yeah structurally 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 yeah yeah, yeah um the wall fell 
the wall fill. So that that we took a big hit with that. But then um, we actually a part our partner now with, with our current store, uh, Olympia Development of Shout Michigan. Out to Olympia. Um, so they're like a part of Illich Holdings um, that owns like Little Caesars brand, Little Caesars Arena, the yeah. Tigers, Red Wings. They actually partnered with us, and our store now is in the District of Detroit, so prime real estate. Um, so now we're starting to get our bones back, uh, and things are like this year is probably going to be one of the most profitable years we've ever ever had. So um, things are looking looking up, but I would say COVID. I would say COVID to like twenty twenty two twenty three. It was. And we got to make this work, so. Yeah, return. That's the story for everybody, yeah. Yeah.